Day two of the Seattle Seahawks training camp is in the books. And off the field news, uh, the Seattle Seahawks extended Julian Love's contract three years for and rewarded him for his leadership and his play on and off the field. And then also one other note, off, uh, off the field note, the several players were in the building for uh, camp tryouts. One of them was Marquise Blair, 2019 second round draft pick. Don't know if any of the players were signed or not. We just know the Seahawks gave them a tryout. So let's go to the video. Hey, 
dictate terms, uh, we want to be efficient, uh, we, want to, we want to operate uh, fast for the quarterback and, and keep, keep it consistent for him. Uh, we want to be able to get to a lot of things like elegant, elegant simplicity. Uh, we're not just going to run you know, inside zone 70 times a game, you know, we're, going to have, we're going to try to have answers and, uh, and really attack what defenses do and how you want to play and everyone deciding that you know, the style of how you're going to play, which uh, some of those things that we're talking about, you know, it's, that's, those are kind of our that's our language that we're going to speak in house. But you know, you talk about schematically having answers and being able to identify certain things what the defense is doing and um, being able to get to those things simply and consistently. You know, so you're not just chasing your tail. And then also, you know, there's going to be plenty of times where you're going to want to run your, you know, your bread and butter stuff and be able to do that against you know every defensive look they can give you. So uh, defenses aren't making you get in and out of stuff based off of what they show. And you know, you're really flipping the page on that in those terms. Um, and just, you know, belief. Uh, the program has belief in me. Uh, and I'm excited to be here long term. You know, we want to do a lot of things. I think we have an extreme amount of talent, but that means nothing if we can't evolve uh, game plan wise week to week. And so to have a lot of things, you got to communicate a lot. We got to have tools, we got to have checks. Uh, and then from a bigger perspective, just building a team, building an organization that's together, we got to be able to talk to each other. Uh, across the board, we got to be able to gas each other up, hold each other accountable. And I think that's what that obnoxious communication is. Like talk to a point of <laughs> seeming obnoxious, but that's just gonna have to be the standard. And we're building that. It's day two of camp. Uh, we're trying to get to that. Guys are, you know, might be tired, all that stuff. And so we're, we're trying to get to that point right now, but I think it's a, it's a good emphasis to have. All right, so there you go. Uh, as, as usual, B-roll. And uh, we showed you some practice stuff. And then as far as the practice itself, you know, Geno Smith continued to look sharp. He was slinging the ball to, uh, the usual suspects, as I said yesterday, again, you know, Jackson Smith and the Jigba, DK Metcalf, Noah Fant, and also Tyler Lockett. Defense looked pretty well, so it was another spirited practice. And of all the things that happened, the last play of pr today's practice was what? An interception by Julian Love to end the practice. So there you go. Ah, one quick note, go up and check uh, on, the, on the channel. You'll see exclusive interviews with Nick Harris and also uh, Kobe Bryant. So again, from the VMAC in Renton, I'm Asvita Mario for the Cascadia Sports.net report.